So one of the things you might be asking yourself is, um, what do I need to do this? What software? How much is this going to cost me? Right? Uh, there are some good news. And of course, there's some bad news. The good news is you can build a course for absolutely zero dollars. OK, uh, you can all the, the software that we use um, is really all free. OK, um, however, if you want to get your uh, course published in the game for other people to play, all GS Pro users, you probably aren't going to be able to do it for free. And I'm going to explain to you why in a second. However, if you just want to build your home course and you are on a tight budget, you can build that course for free and you can play it. Absolutely. No doubt about it. OK, so let's talk about what software you're going to need. So what are you going to need to do this? Um, so starting at the beginning of the process and kind of working down through it, I'll, I'll, I'm going to explain at a high level where all these software platforms are and um, how much they cost. So first thing. QGIS. Now, I don't know what that stands for. Sorry. Um, that is a free piece of software. It is used to process LIDAR data. Okay. So LIDAR data is the, um, is the elevation data that we need to do the, you know, the, uh, the uh, terrain of our course, you know, the, the, the waves, uh, the elevation. So we download the LIDAR data and we process it through QGIS. Okay. QGIS is free. Um, no need to pay for that. Very cool. Um, Cloud Compare. Cloud Compare, uh, you may or may not need it, um, but Cloud Compare is also another piece that we have to use to basically stitch together some LiDAR. Um, it is also free. Um, depending on your LiDAR source, um, if you use a certain format of file called DEM files, you don't need to use Cloud Compare, but if you're using like LAS files, then you do need to use Cloud Compare. Don't stress over it. It's all explained later on. Don't worry about it. But Cloud Compare is free. All right. Inkscape, a uh, pretty important piece of software that we use for tracing out the uh, attributes of our course. Um, <clears throat> it is also free. OK, 1.2 is what I used in making a lot of these videos. I think there's a 1.2.1 out now. But even if there's like a 1.2.3 or something or later, it should work just fine. So I would just go and download the, and install the latest version of Inkscape. Um, and just a note, you don't need to do all this stuff right now. I explain how to install this stuff later on. So don't worry about installing. This is just for your information. So Blender. Blender is probably one of my favorite programs. Very powerful. It's a lot of fun to learn it if you want to take it on. Um, we do a couple different things with it, but for purposes of making the course, what Blender does is it conforms a 2D file or Inkscape file to our terrain and makes it into these 3D meshes. Um, we require version 3.3.1, which is the latest. Um, if there's a later version on that, it will probably work. Um, but to be safe, I would just install 3.3.1. Unity. Unity is probably the, uh, the main where you're going to be spending the majority of your time. Uh, it's a good name because Unity unifies and brings all this stuff together and is ultimately what makes the game file that we use in GS Pro. Uh, we are required to use a very, very, very specific version of Unity. So it's version 2018-2.8F1. Do not install anything else other than that. I will repeat, do not install anything else other than that. Okay. Um, Unity will try to get you to install newer versions. Do not install newer versions. Use that one. You will have to find them in the Unity archives. I go through this in the installation of Unity. Okay, if I didn't say it, you have to use Unity 2018.2.8f1. Okay, done. Um, now, so far everything has been free. Unity is free. If I didn't mention that. Now we get to the optional Unity assets, and this is where you might have to pay some money depending on what you're going to do. The most popular ones, the most popular Unity assets, and the ones I would recommend that you get if you're going to spend any money, the first one would be VS Pro, Vegetation Studio Pro. Vegetation Studio Pro makes planting things like trees and grasses and anything vegetation, rocks, you know, putting things around your course, it turns it into from a pain to a pleasure. It's fun with VS Pro. If you don't 
buy VS Pro, you have to use the native Unity tools. It works fine. It's just the performance isn't as good, which means you can't plant as much stuff. And it's tedious. You're planting things click, 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 click one at a time. So if you're planting hundreds of trees and hundreds of rocks, it can get very tedious. VS Pro uh, has a lot of automation capabilities, things called biomes. When it's not on sale, I think VS Pro is like 130 bucks, or maybe 140 bucks. It does go on sale a couple times a year, typically around Black Friday, and also sometimes in the spring. Okay, then it usually drops down between 60 and 100 bucks. All right. So if you are, you know, if you want to save some money, you can wait for it to go on sale. But if you're going to buy anything, I would recommend VS Pro. The second thing I would recommend if you're going to buy anything is Stix 3DG. So that's 3D grass. Okay. So it's a little bit different than what you do in VS Pro. VS Pro plants like weeds and grasses and trees. 3DG, Stix 3DG is the grass itself. Okay. The, the mode stuff, I'm going to call it that. So anything mode is going to be Stix 3DG. That's a pretty reasonably priced asset. I think it's like $30. So that would be the second one I would buy if you're going to buy anything. The third one is called RAM, which is River Auto Material. Um, so River Auto Material is um, a way of uh, a more efficient way of carving terrain. Um, certainly not required, but if you want your cart paths to look good, if you want your lakes and your streams to look really good and not be a real pain in the ass to carve, you should get RAM. I think that's 50 bucks. I know you're going to have to look in the store. Um, I want to say this though, so make sure you get the correct versions for those things. So RAM has a version called RAM 2019. That's for a later version of Unity. Remember, we're using Unity 2018. So your assets that you buy must work with Unity 2018. Okay, so let me tell you something about VS Pro. VS Pro has dropped support for Unity 2018. If you buy it in the store, it will not work. Well, you're thinking, okay, what the hell do I do then? Buy it in the store, okay? Buy Vegetation Studio Pro, and feel free to ask on Discord to make sure you're getting the right version. When you are done, DM me a, a copy of your receipt, and I will send you a version that does work with our version of Unity. Do not install the version that you get from the Unity store, okay? Um, you use the version that I send you. So take a screenshot of your receipt, make sure it shows the date, make sure it shows your name, how much you paid, uh, DM that to me and I'll send you a link to uh, get the regular version or the version of VS Pro that works, okay? So no worries there. Um, if you have questions about this, just ask in the Discord channel, people are happy to help. Um, the other piece of software we use, which is a custom piece of software, is called GreenKeeper. Greenkeeper is something that was built by the developers so that we can do things like add the, our pins to our greens, add our uh, like the our T boxes, our T markers, okay, to our T boxes, um, add our waypoints. So when you're standing, you know where are we aiming, our par three T's, our junior T's, you know. Um, and uh, a few other things like hazards and a bunch of different things. But Greenkeeper is something that uh, we built and uh, it is free. You guys can use it. The last thing is GS Pro itself. Of course, you're going to need GS Pro if you want to test, right? Um, but if you are actively developing a course, okay, and you have a sim PC that you use to play golf on, and then you have a designer PC that you use to build the courses, Send an email to support at GS Pro Golf and say, hey, I am a designer. Um, I'm making a course. I would like a mouse only version of GS Pro so I can do my development work um, on a separate laptop. And they will send you another license so you can run GS Pro on your laptop. And it'll be a, a mouse only version of that, which basically means that you can use your mouse to play, but it works great for development. Okay. So that's all the stuff you really need. And again, you can do this for free if you really want to.